So we are about to meet up with Sailing Dallas. If you don't know who they are, they are the pioneers of the YouTube channel Sailing World. Um, they've been doing it for like 14 years and they happen to be in the area. So Brian messaged me, it's Brian, Kazza and uh, Sierra on the boat at the moment. And they said we can use their internet to upload our episode this morning. So they got um, satellite internet and it's super fast apparently. So we'll get our episode up and then we'll hang out. I think tomorrow we might go that way to swimming pool and have like a kind of friendly race with them. He's never friendly, he's right. There's no such thing as a friendly race, but we'll be racing. I'm excited. I've got something in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's gonna be fun. See how it all works. Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So what's the plan? They're gonna pull up to the side of us? Yeah, they said their um, their satellite internet works better on, on their starboard side, so we're gonna throw some fenders on the port side and steal their Wi-Fi. Right at the front? No, no, like uh, one, two, three, four. It's all in the middle there. You got nine people on there? <laughs> full, full crew. Like a clown car. Yeah. <laughs> Indoor. <Good job. laughs> All right, so James. This is Brian. <laughs> it's a disadvantage. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Like Marty McFly? We had Marty, but Marty died. Thanks, man. No Cheers. worries. Cheers. Oh, no way. Yeah. yeah. So that's the new one. That's Lindo. He's crazy. Yeah. Lindo. Like cute. Linda. Lindo. Lindo. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Lindo. Be nice. Never in a million years did I think we would ever have the opportunity to raft up next to Dallas. But here we were, and I took Brian up on his offer to use his satellite internet to give our Patreons the early release of the episode. We're in the Sandblast Islands. We're in the middle of absolute nowhere. And they have lightning fast Wi-Fi right next door. So because we wrapped it up, I've just logged into his uh, Wi-Fi and I can start uploading my episode. Upload video. It says it's one hour left to go. That is... No, so no. cool. <laughs> it's hard getting these episodes up to you guys, man. Always got to find somewhere. And I normally use this LTE hotspot to my computer and then let that go like overnight or something. So this is one of the places where we have no reception actually. So this is pretty luxurious. Another successful trip for the boys. <laughs> we got food anyway. What's that? We got food anyway. Ah, there you go. Nice. Oh, everyone says oh, I'm only going to drink two, and everyone drinks 42. <laughs> uh, we're just having a nice sundowner, but we'll probably head to the beach soon and um, cook some fish over a fire because that's what we love to do. Don't talk to me. Well, I don't know why it didn't say water. What? It's got water with three exclamation marks. Why, why is he getting upset? I should be upset. But you can't read. <laughs> so a couple of weeks earlier, we had accidentally put an entire jerry can of water into our dinghy fuel tank before Jamie had arrived. So we put the water and oil mix aside and labeled it to dispose of properly. Yeah, no, that's not good. Which Jamie accidentally put straight back into the dinghy. I mean, it's not it, but fucking fuel. So the first thing to do was to get the water out of the carburetor. Never do this. Did you put more water in it? I think so. 
How many bottles of water were there? <laughs> How many bottles of water were in that thing? Well, I asked for them all to be filled, so I don't know. There's no oil. That's strong. What do you think, Brian? You've been around the block. Like I said, let me get the smell of that. <laughs> it smells purely, but it's so clear. Wow. See the. Like you can see the bubbles on top. I think it's like probably 80% water. <laughs> Honestly. One time is funny. Two times, three times is that. Hey, tell you what, I'll, I'll grab one of my VHFs and just like call me on 6 9 or something. Alright. If you want me to come get you. Wow. They, they screwed it up twice, put water in the, in the tank a second time. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Should we place bets? When do you think, uh, when do you think they're going to arrive? <laughs> they seem pretty determined, so. They always are. Yeah. That's <laughs> parlay. Yeah. You guys look like you need a beer. Got to sort it in the end. Nothing to worry about. Nobody <laughs> panic. Just a bit of water in the tank. Honestly, we <laughs> placed bats time. and thought you were going to be a little bit longer. But won't happen again because there'll be no water drums in the fuel. Here, Tom, There's no more department. fuel. There's no more fuel anyway. <laughs> That's why it's not going to happen again. <laughs> going to get the fish on. Yeah, getting the fire ready. Enjoying the sunset at the same time. It is gonna be a great night. We know the spot already. The local start to know you as well, so it's always like nice to see him again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, happy to be with Bayless tonight. It's gonna be fun. We're doing this race, Brian? Yeah. Wow. Assuming you tow your dinghy as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cruiser race. That's fair. That's the rules fair. are you have to do a load of laundry, <laughs> underway, make 200 liters of water, and sail. And, and nurse a two year old. Yeah, right. Yeah. That'll be fun. So I think we're going to go to a spot called um, Swimming Pool, which is at the east end of the Hollandaise Keys, where we are now. And uh, I think we're going to have Kazza, she's going to join yeah. us. Gonna, me and, and Sierra, Sierra are going to jump ship. <laughs> and then we're going to put a few parlay crew on Dallas to help Brian out. Are you ready to race? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I noticed uh, Brian's got a nice uh, big Jenica on the uh, foredeck there, so <laughs> he's taking this one a bit more seriously when we think, than we think. Yeah, he, he will say, like, no, he's going to close me, and then he's like, ha-ha. <laughs> Pulls the dinghy up last second. <laughs> I told you, anytime two boats are going in the same direction, it's a race. <laughs> we're going to go out, and then we're going to see what the wind is like, and if the angle's good, we'll put up the asymmetrical. And there's not a lot of wind. We've got 10 knots of wind, so Dallas really doesn't do that well. And 10 knots of wind is kind of a heavy, heavy boat. Mm. Um, we'll see how it goes. Sales going up. So, what, what are we putting on this race? First round, moonshine. Moonshine at moonshine. sea. <laughs> <laughs> dishes. Who has to do the dishes? Moonshine and dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going down. Yeah, you can just see it later. It's nice to see the boat from a distance. It's nice to be on Dallas. But I want to win though. So, <laughs> let's see. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas Palais. Do you copy? Yellow. Uh, what do you want to do here? You want to point into the wind like us and then we'll just bear away and start racing? Yeah, can do.
the uh -oh. crew doing? What's the crew? What are you doing, crew? <laughs> Help! Why is no one helping him? <laughs> Embarrassing us! Ben, where are you? This bus is like... Ben! <laughs> there we go. Woo! There we go. Good job, crew! Ballet. Fall <laughs> <laughs> now. Cheers, <Yeah>. Barley. <laughs> Bye. 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 They're bringing it down! We got them covered now. That was their Jenica. They've lost all speed, look. Yeah, they brought down the Jenica as the wind has come up too much. So... 16 knots of hair. <laughs> this is where Parley takes the lead! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> See you later! See ya! <laughs> eating our dust. We're eating our spray. We're eating our water. Just tacked. I think Dallas points a lot closer to the wind than we do, so he was able to tack way back there. And we're both going to race for the finish line. Have you got the um, bar house charts to get in here? So you're going straight towards the red. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. You, trim, trim. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> But. So you think Parley just tried to possibly sabotage? <laughs> I don't know that they need to. They're so far ahead. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So we're beside them when we tagged, and now, oh my gosh, you oh, can't yeah, even see them. Where are they? There, <laughs> oh, there right they are. Here. Right dead ahead of us. So we should tag soon, I guess. Well, now we're committed to this entrance, so. Yeah. Okay, around here. But we won the race, but we lost our windlass. Okay, so we're rolling up. <laughs> we think Parlay may have won. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We got rum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers to we, Parlay. We win and fun, I think. Yeah, exactly. You're right. We did it. Awesome. Yay. Nice tacking in the end there. I know.
help. Do you have fun, Sierra? Wow! Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And Dallas is just pulling in right now. Hello. It's a good match, dude, but you got me. It's a good race, man. You would have smoked us if you could. What do you got there? Scoth whiskey mix. <laughs> This is a little special blend that's been brewing in the village for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Good sale. There's like a kind of like a double bunk. That's where Sierra's could, sleeping now. Yeah, it's just Sierra, and then yeah. there's another head, and then that's where like the washing machine and stuff is. Like canned foods, and which oh, is nice because it keeps the weight like really low. Yeah. Like, this is the oh wow. Water gauge. Huh. Just bulletproof, this is like good. it's just a float and it never <laughs> yeah. fail, right? Good boat, eh? Yeah. All right, so what's the tradition here with the, pretty with the much, photo wall? Yeah, pretty much just random circumstances of people that we like to snap photos with our little Fuji camera. Cool. Love Stick it. them up. Yeah, yeah, some random so things up. Yeah, there's some really nice, and some you're like, whoop. <laughs> they had a couple of drinks at night. It's making it a little there she is. Parlay won the race. Yeah, we did. Is it gonna stick? Down the corner here. Perfect. That's a good one. That's such a good picture. Aww. Man, what a day. We just had a sailing race against Dallas. That is a pretty surreal feeling because these guys have been doing this for over a decade and uh, it's because of them that so many of us have uh, started these YouTube channels and started documenting our lives but to be able to just hang out with them and they are so freaking down to earth trust me guys they are as cool as they seem on YouTube and um, we can take a lot away from that, you know. If this if this channel here happens to blow up, and um, you know we get to those sorts of levels, I think it's so important to remain true to yourselves, remain authentic. They just want to sail. They want to sail and make videos. They don't like all of these other things that uh, are associated with with um, getting getting a following like that. They are just so down to earth. They're very simple people. They gave us a tour of Delos, and you know, they're proper cruisers. It's a very eye-opening experience, getting to know them a little bit better. We've met them before, but getting to know them a little bit better has um, been a really, really great experience. And you know what? You guys had such a massive part to play in this because Brian messaged me and he said, hey, we're getting so many message for, messages from people saying that we should meet up with you guys. Let's make this happen. Let's do a little collaboration. Let's do something fun. So without you guys messaging them, um, I'm not sure if this would have been possible. So, um, yeah, just really uh, quite a humbling experience. <laughs>